guys, Amanda here from Faithfully Homemade, and today I'm going to show you my um, first graders work boxes for week four of homeschool. And I don't have a ton of things to show you this week, um, but I do have some. I didn't put a lot of things in his boxes because um, we have some field trips and things that we're um, doing this week, so we won't be um, needing that much. But I will show you what I have, and let's get into it. Okay, so. Um, this next activity, that, or the first activity I have, is long vowel words. So, so each of these sentences has long vowels on them. And um, what he has to do is he has to read the simple sentence. So this one has, do you like fruit? And then he's going to look through his different sticks, and he's going to find the picture that matches, and he's going to stick it in with that. So this one says, mom likes red roses, so he's going to stick that one in there. And let's see, this one says, Dad has a big blue tie. So basically, um, I use the um, Play-Doh for them to do this activity um, whenever we're using the sticks because it kind of holds it up really well. A boat sails on the sea. So you just match them up. I have a whole bag here of more of them. This is my read and match long vowels activity set. Okay, this next activity, um, I am using these. These are from Lakeshore Learning, and they're supposed to be just for learning the alphabet. So this would be a S for sun, and you're supposed to put a little key in there, and it would um, make a little key that has an S in there, and it would unlock it. But what I'm going to use them for is um, I'm going to use them for him making words. So I pulled out just the pictures that either have short vowels or long vowels. And then I'm gonna have him try to make the word using these manipulatives here. So for example, this one is um, a son. And so he would get his little um, letters here. He would get S, U, and N. If I can get it out. And he just gonna clip them together like this. And where's the N, there it is. And that one's capital. One side has capital and the other side has lowercase. So he would clip them together just like that and he's going to make the word sun. And then I also pulled out a few words that have long vowels. So queen has a long e. It's ee. -E, so I'm going to see if he can spell that on his own. Um, and he would just make it obviously like this. And he does know that q always goes with u. So um, q... And then he would also um, have to get a U. So anyway, he's going to make um, queen. And it would look like this when he's finished. Um, these are uh, letter tile, or actually they're unifix cubes with letters on them that I got from Amazon. And um, so we're just going to pair those up. So this is a long vowel. This is vase. Um, but then I have some short vowels in here too, pig. And so we're just going to use those this week to make some words. Okay, the next thing I have here are these um, little cards. They have just simple sentences on them. Um, and so, for example, this one is a frog on a log. He has to read it, and then he has to cover up. Or he can use a clip. Um, I like to use these just different manipulatives, and he can cover up his answer. So he has to be able to read the sentence sentence properly to figure out um, which one he's going to cover up. This is it, the fat rat sat on the mat. So he's just going to cover it up. You can use any kind of manipulative you want um, with these kind of cards. I see a hot dog. He's going to cover it up. So um, these cards come from my mega my phonics mega card set it's a it's a big bundle of all sorts of different phonics activity cards um so anyway anything you see here i'll leave a link below if um, i have it in my store for you to get next i just have some dice here with um some letters on them i think i got these from oriental trading um really cheap and all he's going to do is he's just going to move them around to see if he can make words so there he would make matt and then i'm going to say okay move them around see if you can make another word and he's just going to keep going until he can make a word like so. There's net. Okay, next I pulled out my phonics missing word activity cards. And we are going to do the um, long vowel cards this week. The, it also comes with blends. In fact, we could probably do the blends too because he, he knows those. It comes with digraphs, which we have not done yet. So we're going to skip that this week. And it comes with... Um, our controlled vowel cards. We're going to skip those this week too because he does not know those. So we could probably do, definitely do the long vowel cards and we're definitely going to do, or we, we can probably also do the blend cards. Let me show you how they work. 
Okay, so for um, this card, he has to read the sentence. Mom will paint the lamp. And then down here, it has a long U word to fill in the blank. And he can use the picture as a clue. He's going to look glue, blue, or do. And then when he figures out which answer it is, he's going to go ahead and cover it up or clip it with a um, clothespin. Jim sees the blank buzz to his hive. He's got tree, beet, or bee, and he's going to go ahead and cover up the correct answer on that one. Okay, this activity is a sight word activity. It's gumball flip and match. And what he's gonna do is he's going to take a card and he's gonna flip it over. Oops. And he's gonna read the sight word. The sight word is the word did. And then he's gotta find the gumball that matches. So here's the gumball that's did, and he's gonna put it on his mat. And he's just gonna keep on going until he fills up his entire um, gumball machine. So here's the sight word who, and he's gonna find his gumball that has the who on it, and he's gonna put it on his mat there and keep going. Um, again, you can get this off my website. I'll leave links below to everything. If you um, are interested in um, having a way to, to um, continue to get my resources um, for free. If you purchase my ultimate kindergarten first grade bundle on my website, I, as I make activities, I add them to that bundle and then you get them for free. So it's just something to keep in mind. Um, if you're interested in that, it's just a way to kind of be like a member to my, my, um, my club, I guess, because I'm constantly adding new activities to it. And so once you've purchased it once, um, the price will continue to rise But as I add activities, but it won't rise for you because you get everything. Um, after you purchase, you get everything I add after that um, for free forever. So um, so anyways, this is um, in that bundle, but it's also other places on my website. I will leave a link below. Okay, now for math, I have um, my... Uh, Spin, T number spin and cover activities. Looks like this. I keep them in these plastic bags. And what he's going to do is he's going to spin. And whatever number it lands on, it lands on 15. He's got to find a 15 somewhere here on the map. So here I see 5, 10, 15 with the tally marks. And then he's got to cover it up. Um, I just have some erasers here that he can use to cover up. You can use any kind of manipulative you want. Um, I just pulled those out. So anyway, he's just going to spin. Whatever number it lands on, he's got to find it and cover it up until the entire mat is covered. And there's a couple of different mats I have um, options. I have that one that he could do. And I just have to add the spinner to it when we, when we go to do it. And um, this one as well. Okay, the next three math activities that I threw in his work box, I'm not going to show in detail because I show them in another video. Um, I will leave the link below to that video. Um, it is about numbers to 100 and counting to 100 and that kind of thing um, and sequencing numbers to 100. So um, check out that video. I will show you them. But what I'm going to have him do this week is order it, numbers 100 to 100. So he's going to be doing ordering. He's going to be doing my um, roll and count on numbers to 100 activity center where he uses a dry erase marker. Um, he rolls the dice, writes the number, and then he counts on. Again, I show you these in detail in the other video. I'll leave a link. And then this one is what number is it, numbers to 100 center. He's going to be doing that one this week too. Actually, I don't know if we'll get to all of these, but I did throw them in there because I'm excited to use I, I just made these, so I'm excited to use them with him, and I think he'll have fun. So, um those are in there. Okay, guys, and then last but not least, um, I, of course, have his book that he's been reading through. This is an Abeka book. Um, I have the bookmark in here where we've been reading, so he reads out of that every day. I also have his handwriting that we've been doing, Handwriting Without Tears, and he's been doing one page in here every day. I have a spelling book from Abeka that he does not do every day, but he does it, um, you know, when we see fit. Um, I do it and let's see he has finished all of the first uh, lesson so we are on to the second lesson's words and those are all long vowels so that'll be good for him um, we haven't started it yet this week but we will get to it and then this is just his folder where I keep um, all his like worksheet type things these are his learn to read and learning math level proficiency sheets um, these are on my website too and then um, just different workbook pages and things. These are from a Becca. Um, well, some of them are from a Becca. Some of them, I won't flip through there, but some of them are ones that I've made. And I just pull out a few and I stick them in his folder for the week. And if we get to them, great. We do, we, I try to do one math, one reading um, sheet a week. Um, and I haven't been showing you guys his uh, 
science or his history really. I do that together with um, my kiddos and so I just haven't been showing it in these videos. Um, but we do a little bit of that too every week as well. And we do um, art on Fridays. I try to do one little art project with them. So, all right guys, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week.